Hey y'all, welcome back to my home, or welcome if it's your first time here. My name is Kellyanne, and I like making all sorts of homemaking motivation videos. In today's video, I have a weekly reset for you. This was filmed on a Monday after a busy weekend, so the house was pretty messy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to clear off our living room table. We don't have a home office, so this area just ends up covered in all of my husband's work stuff. He is a real estate agent. So he brought home these floor plans for a huge listing that he has. So I'm just going to put those up and out of the way and then finish decluttering this table. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and late nights don't get around. But there's something about you, something about you I like, about you I like. You're crazy for saying I should slow down, but maybe I'm escaping the love we found. There's something about you, something about you I like. So now that I'm done cleaning off our dining room table, I'm just going to open up these blinds and let some of the light in. It was a gorgeous day outside this day, but now I'm just going to clean off our kitchen island. It gets so cluttered. Over the weekend, I really try not to do too much housework. I mean, I know on Monday I'm going to get back in my cleaning routine, but I do like to take it easy on the weekends with my husband and family, although my husband works 99% of the weekends. It's very rare for him to be able to take a day off on the weekend, but now I'm just going to be cleaning Drew's high chair. We had mac and cheese recently, and he just got it all over his chair. So I'm just going to take it apart and throw it in the washer. I, about you, I, like. I get too drunk and too scared and lie you. If only you knew I would die for you. One of us, one of us, gotta say the obvious. Nobody loves me better. Nobody loves me better. If y'all are enjoying this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That really helps my channel out. It helps my video be pushed out to more people so they can see it as well. And if you're not subscribed, I would love to have you. I've been posting videos every Thursday and Sunday. Guess I'm just too scared to settle down. There'd be many nights I got too high and almost left town. But there's something about you. Something about you I like, about you I like. I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you. If only you knew I would die for you. One of us, one of us, gotta say the obvious. No Earlier this day, I stopped by Trader Joe's and picked up these flowers. They were too pretty not to get. I think I got all three of these bouquets for, I think, like 15 bucks, but these flowers have lasted a couple of weeks. I did cut the stems a little bit, a couple inches before putting them in the vase. I heard that that helps the stems last longer, but I've been impressed with the longevity of this bouquet. Stepped into my life, such a magic feeling. We tore down my walls. I wish I could go back to right before you told me I'd try to change it all. But look at us now, I could have. You will see here that I have some dried orange slices. I have been making these, I'm making some dried orange garland as well as a wreath. I am so ready for fall. I'm ready for some cooler weather, for pumpkin everything. And also we live in Western North Carolina. So seeing the leaves change is absolutely breathtaking. It's our busiest time of year. It is tourist season. 
I didn't really like fall until I moved up here and I used to drive for Uber up here and fall was the best season because you're making over $100 an hour because there are so many people in town. We called them the leafers. They come in town just to see the leaves change every year. Guns will fire. It hurts to realize we're parted. Yeah, look at us now. This is who we are. And I just know things will never be the same. We're like strangers again, again, again. Strangers again, again, again. We're like strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same. We're like strangers again. tried much harder all we have are scars he said we'd get so high higher up than heaven he said we'd reach the stars look at us now could have gone so far it hurts to breathe so this area under drew's high chair just gets so many crumbs he is such a messy eater so i'm constantly having to sweep under here that's why i got this little broom so I wouldn't have to get our big broom out every time but I am just about to vacuum the floors since the floors are so dark you, it does show every single crumb that's just the only downfall of these floors I do love them though I think they look really nice but in the future I definitely think we will steer towards lighter colored floors just because they're much easier to keep clean Strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be the same. Like strangers again. Started. It's time to get my head up again. You said that you had to. I'll try to forget you. Just didn't think we'd end up this way. Like so, after I finish mopping, I'm just gonna move on to our living room. So, this area gets messy because this is Drew's play area slash our living room. But I'm just going to change the sheet in his pack and play. I put him in this if I'm trying to get something done because he loves to go through our cabinets and drag everything out. His favorite thing to play with is paint. Well, paint bottles that I keep um, in one of our cabinets. I've thought about taking the paint out of the cabinets and just replacing it with his toys. So that will be like his safe cabinet to play in because I am afraid that the paint is going to bust open and get everywhere. So here is the after. Everything looks so much better and in place. Bill loves coming home on Mondays because he knows the house is going to look like a show home. But now we are just going to head upstairs and on Mondays I wash the sheets. I do need to get um, some new sheets, like a backup pair of sheets. But if y'all could recommend some nice bed sheets, please link them below. But now I'm just decluttering and I'm going to put on these sheets and Sprinkles loves to lay on our bed so I'm just going to scare her off. Uh -huh. 
Right now on my channel, I am doing a deep cleaning and decluttering series. This Sunday, I will post a deep clean and decluttering of our master bedroom. So this is the last time that we'll look this cluttered. I had so much stuff on the dressers and it was really starting to drive me nuts. So I was able to tackle it all. So look forward to that on this Sunday's video. It will be the deep clean part two. I was really hoping to be able to include a deep clean of my bathroom in this Sunday's upcoming video, but my mom had my son while I was filming it and I was not able to do or get to the bathroom to do a deep clean of it. But now we are just going to be vacuuming our hallway and yes, that is our ceramic Christmas tree that has been chilling there since we took it down from our Christmas decorations this past Christmas. I was going to put it in the attic, but I'm too scared to bring that thing up into the attic by myself because it was my husband's grandma's and I know if I broke it he'd probably be devastated. So to close out this video, I'm just going to vacuum the girls' room, but first I'm going to put down some carpet freshener. This room has their litter box in it, so I like to keep it smelling as fresh as possible. We have a litter robot, so that helps a lot. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope y'all will return to my channel on Sunday to see our deep clean part two, but I hope you have a fantastic day.